will wonder that such a man walked the earth. I think that's the biggest tribute given to Gandhi ji. People will not believe that there was such a human being. And from whom? From Einstein. Humanity. Where is humanity? We don't care about our parents. Is that being very human? We don't care about our siblings, if we have any. Forget grandparents. People don't even care about their parents. Today, the relationships which we have with our parents is use and discard or use and throw. Please look at the movies which are coming. Please look at the TV serials which are coming. Somebody once asked uh, Bimal Roy, one of the greatest film directors of our country, many, many years ago, maybe 50 years ago or Bimal Da, he was a Bengali gentleman. Bimal Da, ye, aap kaisi picture hai hai? these are not for the masses. So he didn't say, I make for the classes. He didn't say that. He said, Bhai, main jis cheez mein interested hoon dikhane mein, main uspe picture banata hoon. So he said, to, to kya fayda aisi picture ho ka, koji dekhta hi nahi, kisi ko malum hai nahi aap kaun hai. तो वो तो फिर रिवॉल्वर आनी जाके देख लीजिए हां कुछ ऐसी पिक्चर देख ली तो उन्होंने कभी देख लीजिए मैं तो नहीं कह रहा मेरी पिक्चर देखी सी दिस इज द की लुक एट बिमल बिमल दास मूवीज ऑल सेंसिटिव मधुमती इज अ फेमस पिक्चर ऑफ हिज यू नो एंड ही वाज बेसिकली मेकिंग मोस्टली इन बंगाली सत्यजीत राय आल्सो एन अदर ग्रेट डायरेक्टर लुक एट हिज फिल्म्स Look at M.S. Satyu's, the famous film of 1972, I think, Garam Hawa. What a sensitive movie. In recent times, Amir Khan has made some sensitive movies also. People like Three Idiots, though it's in a different type of movie, but Bimalda and uh, Sham Benigal and, uh, you know, these people made different type of movies. Business and ethics. Well, I don't think I have to elaborate any more on business and ethics. I gave the example of Mr. Malaya. He is both a businessman and he follows his own brand of ethics. That's all I can say about him. Maybe I have succeeded in ensuring that, except maybe in the last few rows, which I can't see from here, everybody is awake. So thank you for being a patient audience. My friend from Andhra Pradesh, you wanted to ask some question, you were very impatient. Bataiye. No, no. Chapande. Hmm. Hmm. So, sir, they are making all attempts to save him, sir. So, pro it is our own man-made problem. It is our own fault that he, he managed to do so many evil things. And, sir, I quote you, sir, you have said about issues of ethics and all, sir. Like the, the incident which you have told about your sub subordinate. I quote you from Mahabharata, sir. Sir, Ashwatthama, he, when he knew that his father was deceived and was murdered by the Pandavas, in retaliation he killed the sons of Pandavas. So some actions, no, they give you the consequent reaction. But it is, it comes out of emotion. It comes out of hate, revenge. Even in Mahabharata, the, the no, you should be, you should earn the art of brevity first. You have made three different points. Now, if you go on, I'll forget what you said first. So far, I remember. If I heard you correctly, and please uh, tell me if I have understood you correctly. You said that uh, Mr. Malaya uh, became a Rajya Sabha member. You named a political party also. He was nominated by that political party. And uh, everybody knew that he's unethical. Is that what you said? So you said politicians are responsible. That's what you said. I totally disagree with that statement. Let me talk why a politician is not responsible. Let's talk of Bhutan again. Bhutan has a king, but he has given a constitution and a constitutional monarchy to his own country. So there you can give him the credit. And if you disagree with him, you can give him the discredit. But in India, what is the preamble of the Indian constitution? It starts with we, the people of India. And in India, every person has one vote. 
the president of india also has one vote and a gentleman who is the poorest of the poor also has one vote so when everybody has one vote then i will now quote from a lecture which i had given 8 8 years ago uh, which is also there because i don't have to think what i had said you know i had given a lecture here on 1st february 2007 and the subject was key issues regarding public sector undertakings and the turnaround of singreni collieries company limited about which i have not spoken anything but i'll tell you uh, on politicians now i'm reading from what i have written i am very clear that in a democratic country like india all of us are stakeholders now listen carefully i'll read it slowly and repeat all of us are stakeholders owning equal responsibility for our governance please read the constitution of india where does it say that some people are more equal than others nowhere every indian is responsible for honesty and equally every indian is responsible for corruption don't blame the politician blame yourself those of us who point fingers at others i have worked with prime ministers of this country i have worked with chief ministers of the state and i know inside out the system in fact more than inside out i know such things that if i expose them it will make uh, it will make me an instant hero and i'll become a celebrity all over the world not just india but i firmly believe that what i have said here and i am reading further this is my belief you are welcome to disagree owning equal responsibility for our governance we have to generate and sustain political will this is what actually you want political will we should turn the light inwards and clinically analyze our shortcomings and weaknesses clinically clinically means absolutely impartially objectively without getting sentimental emotional and partial there is no point in blaming the government politicians and civil servants for our ills and this is the question i raise to all of you what right do we have to sit and criticize the system without discharging our constitutional responsibilities as responsible citizens how many of you are aware of some of the directive principles of state policy you may be aware of your fundamental rights in the directive principles of state policy as subsequently amended by parliament of india from time to time protection of the environment is a constitutional responsibility of every indian when you look around i have been seeing this area from 1977 I call it a dead body, half buried, not awaiting burial, half buried. As a former commissioner of the city, I can tell you, in 1924, I saw a map of Hyderabad Municipal Corporation. In 1924, I forget, but they were in what is today called Jubilee Hills, Banjara Hills in that area. There were more than 65 lakes. Today there are four. The rest of the 61 are buildings like this. So are we discharging a constitutional responsibility? Then let me quote you a couplet of Bahadur Shah Zafar, the last Mughal emperor, which is inspired by a great Sufi of our country, Kabir Das Ji. One of his dohas, Bahadur Shah Zafar took and wrote this couplet which I'll translate into English for the sake of those persons who do not follow Urdu. Jo dekhne chale dusron ke aibo hunar Jo dekhne chale dusron ke aibo hunar Aur phir jo padi apni buraiyon par nazar Aur phir jo padi apni buraiyon par nazar To nazar mein koi bura na mila when I started looking at the faults and weaknesses of others and then I happened to look at my own weaknesses, I found everybody better off than me. See, this is the spirit of a democratic society. We are all equal. In our country, 
we are not supposed to discriminate against anybody on grounds of so many things so when it comes to exercising power we can exercise power in so many ways not just vote once in 5 years when it is not even 5 years many times there are mid term elections after 2 years we have elections each one of us is squarely wholly entirely fully responsible for good things in our country and for bad things as young people if you start blaming the politicians or you start blaming civil servants like me ke aap wahan the aapne kaun sa teer maar diya aapne kya kiya ye hai wo hai and you feel very happy then you know i'll ask you like a good japanese that uh, i saw you drinking this water bottle where is it now and then we search and we find it lying in a hedge where you put it like this so you see the fundamental thing is i come back to what i started with leadership is a personal choice leader without title every human being can be a leader is a leader has the potential of being a leader the question is you have to define what is leadership leadership is not uh, being at the top in some form that you are salman khan in acting or you are sachin tendulkar in cricket obviously they are leaders in their own fields but a leader the point is again uh, there is a saying in hindi very simple darpan jhoot na bole the looking mirror aina bhi jisko kehte hain aina doesn't lie when you look at the mirror that's the only time you see your face we can't see our faces we need a mirror if you want to comb our hair how do we comb our hair i can't look at myself you are looking at me and you can't look at yourselves i am looking at you so therefore there is also a saying holding a mirror to yourself is more important than holding a mirror to society so the moment you start saying this party nominated so and so everybody knew mala is doing liquor business here tab to kuch nahi hua ab wo bhag gaya to bol rahe hain the point is how did gentleman become what he is he became because of all of us and what you will become tomorrow is not solely because of what you are but it is also because of the environment the circumstances but if you then take the classical uh, uh, defense that destiny haaton ki chand lakeeron ka ye khel hai bas taqdeeron ka it's a matter of some lines in your hand destiny and fate yes destiny and fate are very much there but then does it mean that you do nothing like i used to always tell people that if you think life is not worth living and fighting then does it mean you commit suicide so everybody should commit suicide because anyway we have to die so why wait marna to hai the debate which goes on euthanasia for example it's purely an ethical debate when do you pull the plug of the ventilator that's the debate so friends the specific submission i wish to make in response to my young friend from ap is that don't blame anybody look at yourself and when others start talking about you that's when you can realize that you are changing yourself for the better and others are talking ke bhai mr x to kya the ab kya ho gaye i mean i'm talking of change for the better any uh, person from this side yes sir uh, hi everyone uh, my name is shashank and uh, this is uh, like the personal question which i want to ask you uh, first of all wonderful session i think this is the first time i've been slept for like more than 5 minutes uh, truth is bitter though but yeah uh but the question to you sir is you said you felt uh you felt bad and uh, you almost shed tears for the person x that about corruption and you spoke about humanity as well uh say a small twist in the story uh, god forbid uh, unfortunately you meet him 10 years later or after the incident occurred you met him 10 years later and someone uh, your friend uh, dear colleague or uh, dear relative comes and tells you the same story but uh, a slight twist in the story is he had four daughters all jet black would you still shed tears for that person 30 years ago this person said eggs was in danger of corruption and spoke about humanity 
The question is, you mentioned about Mr. X and uh, you had uh, human feelings and sympathy for him. Supposing you had met him after 10 years again and somebody similar who had not three but four daughters, what would your uh, response be then? Is that right? See, one thing important we should know is every situation is unique and therefore every time our response will also be unique. You can't step into the same river twice. This is a chapter in a book here in Acrobatics of Change. You can't step into the same river twice. And this is, was by Heraclitus, the great Greek philosopher. Circumstances change, situations change, people change. I never met this gentleman after that day and I kept track of him for about two, three years because at the point of time I had interaction with him, he was nearing retirement and therefore his daughters were in the age group of uh, getting married. And I told you I don't know about the third one, I only kept track of the first two. If it had been somebody else for whom I did not have so much of empathy, I would not have done anything. It was because I used to respect this person. So it is when you really respect somebody for the right reasons. And you can't destroy that respect. You can't destroy that relationship. He, he indulged in corruption. But the fact is he was a brilliant performer. And he may have exploited Peter. But he paid something to Paul. You have to then see his balance sheet as a human being. Was his corruption more or the social good he did more? As he was in an important post. And I'm talking of, in those days the retirement age was 55 for state civil service and 58 for the IAS. So, whereas I was a young man, I was 31, 32, he was, I think, 52, 53, somewhere around that age. He was 20 years older to me. And I had no idea about uh, his family background or his family circumstances or anything. There were so many people whom I have actually physically jailed, jailed, sent to jail for two weeks, imprisonment. I do not know their pers uh, personal circumstances. Maybe their personal circumstances which made them corrupt were even more genuine than this gentleman, maybe. But I had no connect with them. So everything depends. Back to Shakespeare, nothing is good or bad. Thinking makes it so. So it is your circumstances, your circumstances, your emotions, and then you evolve. And second part of your question, let me answer like this. I think Professor Mishra is the only person in this room who would be having a fair idea of this, what I'm going to say. And even his fair idea, he'll be surprised when he hears the figures. How many people are in this room who are, uh, whose uh, mother tongue is Telugu? Please raise your hands. Oh, Anni, Andaru, almost. So, how many people from Karimnagar district here? About four or five. My first posting was in Karimnagar. I was sub-collector Jagtyal. 1978 July to 1980 September. Two years, two months. Well, during that period of two years, two months, which was my first posting, I suspended 357 people from service. Not for corruption, for so many things. Dereliction of duties, insubordination, this, that, etc. And I terminated over 150 people from service. So there was a saying, a Telugu saying, which I don't remember the Telugu part so well now, but the saying was that in Telugu, it, the saying is that putting your head in a lion's mouth, a tiger's mouth, not lion. Puli is tiger or lion? Tiger, puli. So the saying after one year of Mr. Khwaja in uh, Jagtyal was, if you get posted to Jagtyal, it is like putting your head in the puli's mouth. He's, he will chew you up. He's like a tiger. 
When I became collector, 10 years later, and I wanted to set things right, so I used to say, this man is corrupt, suspended. But seven, eight years later, I had to run a district. A district with an area of 16,029 square kilometers. Jagtyal's subdivision, now there are more subdivisions there. Now there is a demand everywhere for districts. Yelandu is also a district and Surya Pet should be a district and Siddhi Pet should be a district and so on. In Karim Nagar, I think there is a demand for Jagtyal as a district, for Vemulwada as a district. And, but that time the geographical area of Jagtyal was 4,000 plus something square kilometers. And then I started being more compassionate, compassionate. It's not that I became corrupt myself. By God's grace, I don't think I'm corrupt even today. I'm not uh, blameless if you say, aapne kya kabhi sarkari gaadi mein misuse nahi kiya, I'll say nahi kiya, bahut baar kiya. Aapne sarkari phone se phone nahi kiya, parcel kiya. But ha, if you ask me, aapne paise liye, koi galat kaam kiya, nahi, wo nahi kiya. So I am not washed in milk or something. But then I realized, what is my role as a collector? My role as a sub-collector was different. And my role as a collector was different. And in between the journey, I had added uh, seven years of service. So experience teaches you so many things. So I did take action against. As a collector, let me tell you, I put a deputy tahsildar of mine who was caught in rice smuggling Two weeks he was behind bars. As a collector in a treasure trove case, I got, I got an arrest warrant issued against the Samadhi of the Chief Minister of the State of Andhra Pradesh at that time, who had to run to escape the arrest. He became an absconder like Vijay Malaya is an absconder today. So I did it. But suspensions much less terminations much less and I always used to keep you have asked a very good question I always used to keep this mistakes in the back